okay, so like we all want to get people on board with our ideas, right? Who doesn't? Right. But how do you actually do it? Make them stick. Like that next level, you know? <laughs> totally. And that's what we're deep diving into today, this, uh, this YouTube video, How to Persuade People. It's by Anita from Word Cortex. And honestly... Some seriously fresh takes in there. Oh, yeah. She's, she's... Yeah. So she starts off with this idea of, like, horizontal persuasion. Instead of going straight to the top, like the CEO, with your big idea. Right. She's all about getting your colleagues on board first. Yeah. What, do you, what do you think about that? It's huge. I mean, think about it. If you go in and you've already got, like, a team yeah. of people who are like, yeah, we're into this. It's not just you anymore. Totally. It's, it shows momentum. It's like you've got a coalition before you even, like hit the boardroom exactly it shows you're thinking big picture how it helps everyone like that energy mm -hmm. contagious oh. and that goes right into her next point this idea of giving giving value before asking for anything you know that whole gary vanderchuk thing jab 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 right hook classic gary v but like how many times have we seen that for real someone's always helpful offering advice then bam they need something and everyone's like oh yeah let's listen to this person all the time uh -huh. this one colleague always going above and beyond, helping on projects that weren't even, like, her thing. Fast forward, what, a year later? Mm. She pitches this whole workflow overhaul. And everyone's on board. Because she put in the work, built that trust. Mm. The asks just, they land differently when you've been giving. So true. Okay, but how do you walk that line? Showcasing your expertise, you know, to give your ideal weight, but without sounding like a total, well, like, nobody likes a know-it-all. It's about positioning your experience as context, not a trump card. So instead of, as an expert in biomechanics, this design is flawed, you could say. You know, my work in biomechanics has made me really aware of X, Y, Z, and I wonder if this design could benefit from that. Nailed it. Yeah, it's like you're not hitting them over the head with it. It's just part of like who you are in that conversation. Exactly, and it's not just like what you say, it's it's how you say it, right? right? Like your body language. Even. Oh, totally. That conviction in your voice when you really, you know. It's like that whole I know what I'm talking about vibe. Yes. But but not like in a cocky way. Not at all. More like, hey, I've been around the block, seen some things. And, and this just makes sense. Right. Okay, so we've, we've laid the groundwork, right? Built those relationships, shown them we know our stuff. Now, how do you get them to actually care? About your idea. Okay. So Nina yeah. talks about this what's in it for them factor. And I feel like this is where it gets, it can get tricky. It's easy to get caught up in our own excitement. You oh, know? yeah. We forget to connect to what others actually, um, what they need. It's like we're speaking two totally different languages. Yes. A hundred percent. We're over here talking about like features and they're thinking, but will it make my life easier? Right. Will it solve this problem that I have? Exactly. You got to demonstrate that value, how it helps them. Because it doesn't matter how genius your idea is. If they don't see that, like that connection to what they need, it's going nowhere. It's like that saying, what's in it for me? Right. You've got to answer that question right up front. Yeah. And I like how Anita talks about it. It's not about tricking people or <laughs> no, no. manipulating them. Not at all. It's about like that true alignment. Yes. Like, we're on the same team here. You're highlighting the common ground, how your idea helps everyone reach that bigger goal. Okay, so we've got our colleagues on board, shown we know what's up, and connected our idea to, like, what everyone needs. So how do we actually get them to take action? Ah, so that's where Anita's last point comes in. Creating urgency. Yeah. But not in a, like, a pushy way. No, 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 not like those limited time offer things. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. It's more about... Like highlighting the opportunity, the one that exists right now. Okay, I'm listening. Give me an example. How do you how do you do that? Create that urgency without sounding I don't know, desperate. Give me an example. How do you how do you do that? Create that urgency without sounding I don't know, desperate. Okay, so say you're pitching some big social media campaign, right? Mm. To roll out at this like industry conference. Okay. Yeah. Instead of being, oh, we got to do this now, you could be like, this conference, it's a moment, right? Yes. A chance to really make a splash. Imagine if we launch right before we ride that wave of attention. Ooh, I like that. Right? It's like you're not pressuring them. You're just... It's an invitation. Yes. To yeah. be part of something, I don't know, kind of special. Exactly. And sometimes the best way to create that urgency is by like subtly pointing out what happens if they don't act. Yeah. How interesting. Like, like not even a threat, just... Just a little, hey, here's what we can miss out on. Yeah, like a, 
Here's the whole picture. This has been so good. Really makes you think about persuasion in a whole new light, you know? Absolutely. It's not about like tricks. It's about connecting with people for real, which I dig. 100%. It's why people actually say yes, right? Mm -hmm. When something, it, it just clicks with their goals, what they care about. It's got to be genuine. Otherwise, they see right through it. That's so true. Mm. Okay. Any last words of wisdom before we wrap this persuasion party up? Just, you know, even when you do everything right, not every idea is going to be a home run. Oh, for sure. And that's fine. Sometimes no just means not yet. Or maybe it's a wrong group of people. Maybe the idea itself needs a little, I don't know. Tweaking. Yeah. It's a process. And sometimes that no pushes you in a direction you never even, you know. Exactly. That's the good stuff. So good. Another deep dive in the books. Until next time, everyone, keep those ideas coming. And remember, you got this.